What's going on YouTube? Uh, welcome to the video guys. So I decided to do a little quick tip video. Um, I know my wife and other, uh, I have some few comments that people are saying I'm probably, I don't know, being negative or, what should I say? Lack confidence. Lack like confidence. That's what I think it is. I, I think my videos are boring, but anyways. So quick video. Um, so I'm doing my uh, Moray harness. So obviously a little tip for doing this. Like I said, it's a tip video. Use an exacto knife. Now, this is not the right size. This is my wife's arts and craft paper type, so you want to use a bigger one. Yeah, he done broke. So, when you're doing this, these insulators, when you're cutting, try not to cut in a downward angle. Because you probably could slit the side of a wire, and these things are really sharp. So, if you're going to do this, you want to go in from a side angle and cut from the side. Try to have the knife pointing upwards. Like I said, if I had the bigger proper type, I'd probably go through this without doing too much back and forth motion because I could be potentially slitting a wire. And these insulators are thick, to be honest with you, they're real thick. Uh, this is probably the most headache thing of doing cars, to be honest with you. In my opinion, it's probably easy to install a turbo on a car. <laughs> Wiring, man, shit. This is this is probably the worst when you're doing any car. Now, see how, how I pulled it back? I probably wouldn't advise doing that. You know, just try to set the whole thing off, but I'm just being a bit lazy. But like I said, even if you cut these, the edges are sharp as well. So, you know, the wires are very thin, very thin gauge wires. So, I would say probably 16, I guess. I don't know. The higher the number, the smaller the wire, the lower the number, the bigger the wire. So I'd say around 16-ish, around that. You see I'm having here, just trying to put it upwards. And the reason why I'm doing all of this, and myself and all this headache, yes, I want to look neat, and I'm trying to take these engine harness off of the light harness since it's all electric tape together and the only way you can take them apart from each other I have to take the insulation off unfortunately I said cut from this side, from an angle top angle for the side slit just to make the knife do more work If you say you cut a wire, unfortunately you're going to have to cut it and shrink wrap it because you don't want to have a short in the circuit. So just cover it over, over duct tape won't hurt, will be a good idea. So I'm finally close to the end of when I want to put it in the cabin. So if my wife could just show down there how many uh, insulators I took off. So shit ton of insulation. You probably could reuse it. I really don't want to, but it's already been in there since 95, so it's very brittle. That's the right word. So it's easy to, to break. It's so hard. So that's it, guys. Um, hope you guys learned something from that, but you know, just take your time, use the right tools. And um, as soon as I get down here, I can take this harness out and shove it into the cabin area so I won't have it sticking out inside the engine bay. And I'll try to cover this properly. Like I said, I think I plan on doing um, RHM DR25 or just simply duct taping it, getting some um, zip ties, zip the wires together properly, and um, cover it neatly and then put in the fender, but just to get rid of this so I can shove it in the engine bay uh, decently, I'll just take it off from here. So, thanks for watching guys. And this is not boring. <laughs> Bye. I like you.